Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 103. That is, what is Spike in Agile Scrum? Before I explain what is Spike, let me explain a problem that you may face in Agile Scrum due to which Spike is required. Okay, so let me explain you about the problem in Agile Scrum due to which the Spike is required. Okay, so what is that problem in Agile Scrum? As you already know, in Agile SDLC model, we have Scrum methodology. In the Scrum methodology, the development will happen in the form of sprints. Sprint 1, Sprint 2, Sprint 3, Sprint 4, Sprint 5, and so on, right? Every sprint is an iteration here, which will have a duration of one to four weeks, okay? Depending on the project, the sprint duration will have one to four weeks of duration, okay? So in that particular sprint, some stories will be assigned, okay? Some user stories will be assigned. User stories are nothing but the requirements. These requirements will be assigned to each and every sprint. If, uh, before the sprint starts, these user stories will be assigned to the sprint. And by the end of the sprint, the development team, that is the developers and testers who are working in this project, okay, have to complete this user stories. They have to develop it and test it by the end of the sprint. That's what we generally do in the Agile Scrum, okay? So we work in the form of sprints, where in each and every sprint, some user stories will be assigned, and these user stories need to be completed by the development and testing team by the end of the sprint. But there may come a situation where one of the user story is kind of very typical user story, okay? It's not a easy user story, Maybe it's a technical challengeable user story or it's a complex, okay, complex user story whose requirement is not clear, okay? You, uh, it will take some time to understand the actual uh, requirement, okay? So it may be the complexity level of this particular user story may be high, okay? It's a user story which can be assigned to a sprint, but this user story has a technical challenge. So uh, developers have to think about different ways in which they can solve this problem, okay? To in order to develop this particular requirement, okay, as part of building the software, in order to develop this particular requirement related functionality, developer may have to think, okay, they have to create something or it has a technical challenge in place. So they have to do some investigation here. Or there may be some situation where this user story may be complex, okay. Business wise, uh, understanding the uh, understanding this user story with the given details is not so easy. It's a complex one. So that kind of situation may come guys, okay? Not all user stories will have this kind of approach, okay? So maybe somewhere here and there, you, you may come across a user story which has very high technical challenge and high complexity levels to understand, okay? This or this. In such kind of cases, in such kind of cases, what, what, uh, what will happen is we'll create, okay? The product owner will create something known as a spike guys, okay? So the spike will be created. So along with this user stories, a spike, spike will be created. Spike is also user story, guys. Okay. Spike is also a what is spike? Spike is also a let's say this is a spike. Okay. Remaining all are normal user stories, whereas this red color one user story, which I represented here, let's say it is a spike. Why spike is created here? Why spike is created here? So, as you know, this particular user story is kind of having technical challenges, or it may be having some complexity levels in understanding the user story. So if the team has to directly work on this user story, okay, uh, there's a, the, there is a possibility of failure guys, okay? If the, the team is assigned this user story directly, then what happens? Because of the technical challenges or because of the complexity levels of the story, the development team, that is developers and testers, will not be able to uh, develop this particular user story, okay? There is a cause of failure here, okay? They may end up in a failure, okay? They may not be able to complete this story by the end of the sprint because of the technical challenges or complexities in this particular user story. In that case, for example, for example, guys, uh, this is a user story, okay? Let's assume that this is a user story which has technical, remaining all user stories are kind of easy and uh, there's no worry regarding this three user stories that are assigned to this print. But this green color user story, let's assume that it has a very good technical challenge, okay? It has a technical challenges or it may have some complexity levels in understanding the story, okay? This green color one. So if I if the if the development team is assigned with this particular green color user story directly, they have to work. There is a possibility of failure. Okay, they may not be able to complete this user story by the end of the sprint because of the technical challenges, or they don't know what to do. Okay, so they don't know what to do, or it has a complexity levels, guys. Because of that, they are unable to understand the user story. So here, what is required? What is required, guys? Okay, to solve this problem, what is required? Investigation is required. 
right? To work to before working on this user story, what is required? Before working on this green color user story, what, what is required? Some investigation need to be done. Okay, investigation the the development team that is agile team has to do some investigation on this user story before actually working on this user story. For that reason, for that reason. This particular sprint, along with this complex, okay, complex or technical challenge user story, uh, okay, this sprint will be assigned with something known as a spike. Okay, this red color thing is nothing but a spike. Spike is also user story. Okay, spike is also user story, but this user story is created with an intention of doing an investigation on this green color user story. The user story which is having the complexity or technical challenge, right? Okay, to do the investigation on this. User story which is having the technical challenge or complexity levels, a spike user story will be created and assigned to the sprint. So before you work, okay, before the agile team works on this uh, technical challenge or complexity level user story, the development team, that is the uh, developers and testers, have to work on this spike as part of they have to do the investigation. Here, by doing the investigation, you are not producing any, uh, uh, you are not building any software or functionality of the software here. Okay, the output of this spike is not about the Producing any soft, uh, producing any functionality. They are not developing or testing any uh, functionality of the software. The output of the spike is investigation, finding out a, figure outing a solution. Okay. In case of the user story having a technical challenge, that the the team has to come up with a solution to solve this technical challenge. In case this particular user story is having a complexity level in understanding. Okay. So here investigation need to be done to understand the user story. Okay. With the help of other meetings and all, this user story need to be investigated. So to perform the investigation to understand this uh, user story having the technical challenge or complexity, the spike will be created, which will be time boxed. Guys, spike will be time boxed. Okay, some two hours or three hours of time will be decided for this uh, spike. But here, the output is only investigation. The output is not building any software functionality. Okay, so this is what is spike, guys. This is why spike will be created. As you can see now, it will be more clear for you. What is spike? Spike. Is a time boxed user story which is created with an intention of doing investigation. Okay, here you are not building any software functionality. Here, the agile team is going to uh, use this uh, time boxed user story that is Spike to do the investigation. Okay, so what what will happen if you investigate with the outcome of this uh, user story which, uh, where you are doing investigation? This gives a possible solutions. Okay, if there is a technical challenge user story, right? For the technical challenge user story. This particular spike user story investigation will give you the possible solution and also estimations. Okay, so now the agile team can estimate because now complexity in understanding the user story. Okay, this particular actual user story, there is a complexity in understanding it. That's why a spike is created with the investigation. Okay, the now the agile team can understand this actual user story and they can estimate it properly. Okay, this is what is the use what this is what is spike is. It's a time box or user story created for the purpose of investigation, whose outcome gives possible solution and estimations for the actual user story. Okay, this spike user story is created for doing investigation on the actual user story. That's what is spike is. So not every time spike will be created, only when there is some user story which has some technical challenges or complexity in understanding the uh, user story, then only a spike user story will be created with an in, with an intention of doing investigation on the actual user story. So so that we can find out the possible solutions and the agile team can do the estimations for the actual user story. That's what is spike is. So what are the different reasons why spike will be created for the actual user stories? Okay, spike will be created for okay for for investigating on unknown things. Okay, if there is a user story in which uh, some some things are not clear or unknown. Okay, in that case a spike user story will be created with the help of that spike user story, which is a time box user story that a given time that is two or three hours investigation will be done and whatever the unknown things are there in the actual user story, right? That that will be cleared. Okay, so before the actual user story starts uh, before the agile team starts working on the actual user story, they will do the investigation on this story with the help of this uh, user story known as spike. Okay, which has a time box. Okay, then risks of failures. Okay, so if a, if the actual user story has some technical challenges and uh, multiple solutions are there. Okay, here, here there is a possibility of failure if the uh, if that story is actually worked directly by the team, and there is a possibility that the story results in a failure. Okay, the, the agile team may not be able to develop the story well. Okay, there is a risk of failure. But if a spike kind of user story, which is time boxed, is created for investigating the actual user story in case of technical challenges, right? In that investigation time, the out of multiple 
uh, multiple uh, out of multiple directions of solving the technical challenge okay the investigation will result in a possible solution that development team can implement as part of the actual user story feasibility of solution okay as i as i told you right uh, there may be multiple solutions possible in which we have to choose the best solution for solving implementing this actual story and that investigation for finding out the feasibility of the proper solution will be done in the form of a spike user story okay then estimation and reestimation of stories okay if the story is not clear if the actual user story is not clear if the agile team is asked to estimate without creating the spike they will randomly estimate that estimations will go wrong so here so even though the actual story is estimated or it's not estimated guys if a spike kind of time box user story is created for investigation after the investigation now the agile team will get a clarity on what what how much it has to estimate okay if it's already estimated and is wrongly estimated then it's a, there is a possibility of reestimation also okay with the help of the investigation we can reestimate the actual story points for this actual story that's what is the benefit of the spike guys okay so hope guys you understood what exactly is spike spike is a time box to use a story which is created for investigation purpose whose outcome will give possible solutions and estimations for the actual user story for the purpose of the actual user story we are creating this spike user story whose purpose is only investigation guys which not uh, result in any uh, building of any software functionality is not part of the spike guys okay so only when required we generally create spike so hope guys you understood what exactly is spike in agile scrum so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye